Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. Um, this is a tutorial based research channel um, and basically I will show you the research in action but not so much today. Um, I will show you the results which we will be looking at today and uh, basically the channel's here to show you exactly how you can um, research this stuff for yourself. It's, it's the only way to um, verify stuff or just start the uh, the question asking because once you start doing this um, it's just endless um, the more you think you know the, the less you sort of know anyway it's a, a very interesting journey and I highly recommend it right okay today we are looking at a Apollo 10 image sorry i've got stuff all over the place here i'm sorting myself out um there's a mission logo looks like it was a competition at a, a local school but hey there we go this is the original image um the, and this is the page um you can see the numbers it's on the next row down sort of thing but i just wanted to show you the the top page here and uh, this is from Apollo Image Atlas I think it's March to the Moon I'm not entirely sure there we go okay so let's just oh god where are we Okay, it looks like my computer is going to be running a little bit slow, but um, we'll just deal with it. Okay, this image um, is pants. This is uh, exactly what we get to look at. Um, completely washed out, lightened, and the initial look is... Well, you can't really see anything. Um, let's just quickly do this. If you are if you are new to this channel, um, everything is explained. The uh, the software, the tools, it's all very simple. Um, there are people experimenting with this themselves um, and getting amazing results. So there's no tricks, nothing hidden, nothing left to the imagination. Um, it's purely um, so I can hear my neighbour coming in. I might end up in prison. I'm going to kill him. Noisy git. Anyway, um, okay. So looking initially at this just by doing a little bit of contrast I wouldn't do it this way because obviously you can see and, and I'll show you in a minute um, if I worked on the image at this stage uh, with the contrast I've just done on the whole image I wouldn't be uh, being able to pull out some of the details in here but I'll show you in a minute uh, th this is quite um, Quite incredible. These images come in quite quite uh, large. I think you get a small, medium, and large. I'm working on medium, and I still my my computer struggles with it. But that's all explained as well. You know the power of your computer and and things like that. So initially, there's not huge amount there's no, nothing that actually pops out this this area if you can see my cursor there um, okay so let's get into this one was sort of halfway done um, 
It's still not cropped yet. Um, it's been colorized and stuff. And you get the tonal variations through the um, the uh, dodge and burn tools that you used. Um, that's all explained as well. So. So you can start to see some quite odd formations um, appearing here for example and I think when you when you when you speak about uh, moon structures and things like that I think a lot of people are under the illusion that there's a few things here and there um, and it's not the case um, the moon is absolutely saturated covered with thousands and thousands of um, building structures um, and uh, it, it's as simple as that so take note of this as well I mean it's look, looking like a, a crater with a very strange edge it almost looks like this goes under and this is something we've looked at quite a lot um, crater edges and things which uh, just don't seem they seem to be raised away from the ground um, and the pre-editing um, done their end um, is uh, these areas will just be dark darkened or, or, or lightened out so you you can't see any features apparently these people were called um, strippers yeah I think they were called strippers um, the teams of people that would work on these images to get rid of the uh, the stuff you're not supposed to see so let's get on to the main one okay this is a lot larger and it's been cropped um, so you can now see if you're familiar with the work that I do um, the the surface changes somewhat um, and what I did say I was gonna I was just gonna do a few bits and bobs and uh, so you can get your head around it because it, it, it's so busy and so dense that um, I think a lot of people can get um, have a hard time uh, deciphering the image and, and seeing what is going on because there is so much going on it's okay let's start at a point oh no and um, see how you get on um, you can see that crater I just pointed out there um, now this looks like it's come to the forefront. There's nothing saying it's it's uh, further back, but the nature of the the uh, the method I use brings stuff out. Um, so the depth perception might might be off. It might be in line with the edge that we originally saw, um, but it might be set further back. So you you have to take that into account as well. And I'm going to try and refrain from doing any work on this. Um, like I said, I don't know. I have a few videos on the go at any one time. So I think on one, I said I'm going to try and make them a bit shorter. And um, uh, just concentrate on the, on the results. So... Uh, Yeah, see, look, I thought I can't help it. But here we go. If we look at it, this uh, uh, zoom percentage, um, then uh, hopefully you can see some of these uh, clearly. Um, 
manufactured work, very industrial looking. Um, there's a lot of the classic sort of uh, terracing constructions. Um, which we're uh, very familiar with. So you can see here, I haven't actually worked on this area, but there's uh, stuff happening here. So we'll have a quick fly around this, at this uh, magnification. And uh, w what you're going to need to do, because there's always an element of blurring on these images, um, and it would take me many, many more hours than I, I've already spent on this to to try and um, reduce that that blurring. So you need to pause and um, just take the image in. Let your eyes get used to it. So you can see the busyness starting here. Um, it's just something I do. Well, once I start, I can't, I can't stop. You will see these areas haven't been worked on too much, um, and we will have a lot closer look at some of these uh, structures. Um, I haven't really got a scaling on this. Um, you don't get much. You don't get any detail. So you can find out about the um, the photo itself just by uh, googling. The, you normally can find information about it. So something I did. I think it was the first moon one on it, um, video I did with the uh, connecting type sort of tubes and stuff like that. So you can see those appearing through here. For those of you who are don't know I'm I'm not drawing on the image uh, I'm simply um, darkening or lighting lightening um, the pixels it's all explained um, it's a very simple tool very effective that's what I predominantly use See, very, very busy. To so note, like I was talking about these platforms, there seems to be lots of them um, with structures on top of them. You can see how that goes back, and we do have a, um, some perspective on this. Uh, the yeah, I can't remember now. We were, uh, I was exploring, um, you know, how the images are taken, etc. Like, I think it's a uh, ascension angle, angle of ascension. Um, so we're looking back, we're looking back like that. So if we had a, a bird's eye view of it, these would maybe look. Uh, well, they would look more parallel and you wouldn't see this tearing. So you can see how that, it steps back. So 
this is interesting this is the crater rim this is the top here Apologies to uh, people using small devices. Um, this viewing this sort of thing really doesn't work on that. Um, I will be getting closer in on this, um, but I mean, if you're looking at this on a phone, I can only imagine that it just looks like a uh, well, not a lot really. Some things might jump out, but um, who knows? I haven't even checked on a phone, so... Uh, When I start getting into the image, it's when it gets really interesting. Like I say, pause and just take the image in. So if I was looking at this here, that would be the top. Because of course we go down and then this is no more top area. is an underneath and this is a top area again come down another top area and so on and so forth there's something I can show you here which is me not paying attention to what I'm doing not too bad now I tried to get it out but can you see these sort of lines here I've shown this before that's me just being not paying attention when I'm doing the work on it so it's left some um, lines it was too heavy when I was doing it so my apologies for that I just want to point it out um, if I move out you can see it a bit more there so You have to get the exposure level right so you don't lay down any unnecessary lines which uh, can confuse the image. They're confusing enough as it is. so much going on here let's go back a bit it 
certain things are more apparent at different um, zoom levels. I haven't had a, <clears throat> I haven't had a look um, at the whole, the whole image. It just takes a lot of time, um, and that's what I'm up against at the moment. So apologies that I'm not putting quite so many videos out at the moment. There's uh, so much to do outside of YouTube. Um, But they're coming. I've got some more crazy, crazy stuff coming up. The moon seems to be very popular. I mean, obviously, because it's our, our neighbour. But I do find the uh, more lesser known moons and stuff uh, incredible. And there's lots to come. Okay, so you can see the crater there. you're interested in um, how this is done well that's it let's go and have a look at that so that was that central area I showed you earlier but this here is quite uh, interesting this so when we uh let me pan out. It's looking like a bit more of a, a tower type sort of thing there. But just so much going on. It, it, it takes a while to um, get used to the image. back at that other crater now. Let's just take a look at this. You can see where we are up here. It gives you an, it gives you a location on the map. But look at these. And it's simply, it's just everywhere.
it was quite a difficult um, map, I say map, I don't know why, um, to work on. Took quite a while. Um, Sorry about the movement, it's just the program I use. It's not um it's not fluid like uh Photoshop, um which is a bit of a drag, but um this is what I'm using. So you can see this jumping out more. Um, so I said it before, I mean, yeah, again, I mean, you can work on these images, you can keep going and going and going. Uh, there's that, there's that much in them. Uh, it's, it's mind boggling. Um, I mean, it's the case of like um like when we first looked at let's just quickly go back it hasn't been enlarged either It is the same place. This may be. What's that? See the triangles? Now you can't see anything. Yeah, it's just pixelated. But there's some shapes in here. What would they be? This is the crazy thing about it. But for me, this is, without a doubt, I mean, this is probably uh, some of the, the best evidence I've, uh, I've seen, um, purely because of the amount of it. See, there's more stuff here I was working on. Everything connected.
So you can see the different stages of enhancement. And what I found, the slower uh, you do it, rather than just going there, sort of hell's bells, um, you can obviously, you can control the, the level that you pull or push this stuff. And uh, it just means you won't miss anything. And uh, if you've seen any of the other videos, there are areas where uh, you wouldn't think you could pull any more detail. And then there's tiny little stuff. It's like if we look at this area here, it's a bit of a jumble. The more you look at it, the more you can understand what's going on. Like these are, imagine them sticking up. This is the top. Let's see if I can pull that a bit. Just for demonstration purposes. But this looks like there's something sticking out of it. What is going on here? It might take you a while to, uh, but once this clicks in, once your black brain uh, kicks into the the three dimensions, the shadows. then it should just pop and you go oh my god maybe at a different level that's too bright for me I wouldn't I wouldn't usually leave it like that but it's everywhere look platforms towers circles squares I think oh, well, I said on one of the other videos, any day, there's no uh, astronomy, scientific, whatever person could um, explain away what this is or what we're finding in these images. It's as simple as that. No way. And even before, there would be no argument, there'd be no explanation. It'd be just like, just go and try it yourself. And that's what other sites say, other channels say, is uh, it, you can't. You all know about the people who know nothing about everything. Um, just try it yourself. It's a, this is the aim of the channel. It's simple. You want answers? You want to ask questions? Do this first. Okay, it's crazy. When I'm doing this, there's so many areas I wanted to show you. And uh, you simply get lost in these things. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up shortly. Um, but tell me what you're seeing. Um, tell me if I'm... Um, getting into the picture enough um, and uh, if you want to see more of this then uh, just let me know like I say time is an issue and, and going back to things and stuff is uh, I do it as often as I can but it's uh, it's sort of out the window at the moment
sheer craziness. And the rest of the map will be the same. I'm pretty much guarantee it. No two ways about it. Anyway, guys, um, please like this. Um, I need to get it out there. It's pretty frustrating. There aren't many of us. There's only a few of you who actually even get in contact with me. So um, just share it on your uh, media platforms. And um, this isn't about glory or money or anything. I just want people to know. It's as simple as that. But I need subs. It's the only. It's, you know, it's the only way. And let me know what you think. It's important. It's good for me. Um, I reckon this one's nuts. So. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this stuff. And let's get it out there. Um, thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.